I thought I took a couple of weeks to actually work out how we're going to handle the time together. Eventually, I thought we did, but probably could have handled it a little bit better. They'll get a good run, don't worry about that. It'll all, it'll all square up in the end. They've got another month of football action in their home turf here in Perth, and uh, they've done it superbly. We've enjoyed watching the work, and they've announced to the footy world that they are back in the biggest of ways. They certainly are back, BT, and in the words of Gillan McLaughlin, it looks like it is going to square up. And uh, Lloydy, although yesterday was a small sample space, the Eagles look ominous heading towards the rest of the home and away season. And it seems so long ago when we thought they just didn't, weren't playing with much interest and they were struggling with the hub lifestyle. And now at round eight to be five and three, they're in a wonderful position to have a full-on assault at this premiership again this year. And look at their next month of fixtures now on their home deck since, as I said, they've done the hard yards at the hub, took care of Collingwood in you know, the best display, I think, of the season. Geelong, with their injuries, they should take a, a care of them at home. A bye... A freshen up for Carlton and Hawthorne, who I think, you know, they're, they're sort of outside the class of West Coast Eagles, Carlton and Hawthorne. So you so, can't see West Coast losing any of those? Uh, oh, no, I think they go eight and eight and three wow. uh, at the after round 11, which is a wonderful position. And, and Kane, assault on the premiership makes this grand final venue conversation so critical now, doesn't it? I know it's been won in many times in recent years by MCG-paced teams, but you've got... Well, the government might not change their rules, and if that happens, it won't be played in Perth. Then, of course, you've got Brisbane, where the Lions are on fire, and, you know, the Adelaide Oval, where Port Adelaide are making a challenge, albeit in a disappointing um, game over the weekend, but it just makes it so important, this decision by the AFL. It makes it huge, and the lobbying from the Western Australian government must probably need to start now. Carol, I'm not sure when the decision would have to be made. I'm assuming it's sometime into August. So we're talking maybe max four weeks away where this decision has to be locked in surely with logistics around it. So I'm not sure they're going to have enough time, the Western Australian government. But if it is the case, and even if it's some significant finals in Perth, then as Lordy's alluding to, it's going to be a significant advantage and it's hard to see them getting beaten. What's your best guess, Karen? Mm. For the I, I don't see how... I mean, for them to play finals in Perth, there will have to be the exemption lifted, um, an for exemption quarantine. granted for quarantine. So that will have to change. Big decision by Mark McGowan. His popularity <laughs> might, might fall a bit if um, he doesn't help out the Eagles in that one. Yeah, for sure, Caro. Nick Nat Nui, well, he was on fire on the weekend and he's had a lot of bad luck over his time, Nick Nat. And... Looks as fit as he's been. He's had a good pre-season, which is all he's been asking for. And he, not many get the better of Brodie Grundy like he did on the weekend. This was just silver platter stuff. And it had me thinking on the weekend. The hunger for some Eagles. Nat Nui down to Cali. Both have been close to premierships but haven't been able to win one. You've got Brad Shepard, who's in all-Australian form. And you've also got Andrew Gaff who missed out so devastatingly. It was his own fault, of course. Pornsy uh, suspended. But uh, those guys will be driving hard for anyone who's complacent at all at the Eagles. You're spot on with that. I think that's a point that hasn't been mentioned and is underrated. I'll chuck another couple in there too. And two young players who I reckon have been vital to the Eagles. They both came in at round five in that win against Sydney and it's correlated with their form. Oscar Allen and Jake Waterman, they are hungry. Now, they're playing a very tall forward line, but... The way those two young forwards are attacking the footy, I reckon those two would be pretty hungry to taste some premiership success as well. Yeah. Oscar Allen's an absolute star.